Well, hello and welcome back to Greg's Game Room. Now, today I want to play a little game called Gauntlet 2 on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Gauntlet is a pretty famous game by Atari Games. This case, it's by Tengen, 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 uh, for the Nintendo Entertainment System, I believe. Yeah, does it say Tengen on here? Yeah, Tengen right there. Um, I'm pretty familiar with the original Gauntlet game for the NES. I want to say I came pretty close to beating it, but that game is pretty difficult to get uh, to the end. This version of the game looks a little bit more like the real game. Of course, in the game you can play as the warrior, the valkyrie, the wizard, or the elf. And I pretty much always play as the uh, warrior. Oh shoot, I'm getting attacked. I should, I should stop talking and start fighting. Of course, you're supposed to collect keys. That will allow you to open doors like this right here. Boom, open the door. And you can attack these ghosts. And if you destroy the skeletal remains there, that big old skeleton pile, they'll stop generating out of there. Very important to do that. And we got some treasure there. Looks like we got some food. Red Warrior needs food badly. Now I'm not sure what's going to happen when I step on these. I think I'm going to get frozen and or it's going to open a door, so let's find out. Ah, there we go. Opens the door. There's a key there. Um, I'm not sure if this is health or poison. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was health. Good. Woo. Now I think what's going to happen when I step on this right here, it's going to open up all these uh, walls here and I'm going to get attacked. See what happens. Oh yeah, of course. That's it, I'm out of here. I'm going to level six. Wonder why there's no creatures coming out of there. Oh no. That guy you gotta be careful of. That's death. He's very, very difficult to kill. You can kill him with a bomb, or just keep wailing on him. Eventually he'll die. But um uh, should I do it? I'm afraid to. Heck it. Hitting him, am I hitting him? There, oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, there's another death. Just keep wailing on him. Keep wailing on him. There we go. Goodbye. I like all these keys I'm collecting. Sometimes they're hard to come by. I think that was poison. I'm, I'm glad I shot it. Oh, oh man, I don't think I'm supposed to shoot that. Oh, open up the chest and I got some more food. What is that? Looks like a star. Red Warrior now has temporary repulsiveness. Temporary repulsiveness. Always thought it was kind of a repulsive anyways. Oh yeah, see they're running away from me. <laughs> Get back here, you cowards! Oh, those gelatin ball things. I guess they're acid blobs or whatever. There's the exit. Oh good, death is afraid of me. I should probably get out of here before my temporary repulsiveness wears off. Let me open that chest real quick. Oof, there we go. Got out of there. Red Warrior now has temporary repulsiveness. <laughs> I think that's my favorite power-up. <laughs> They're all running away. Red Warrior now has temporary repulsiveness. The graphics are so much better in this version Red of the game. Warrior now has temporary repulsiveness. I mean, the original Gauntlet was fun on the NES, but um, I don't know, I thought the graphics were kind of lacking. This one's graphics are really good. Red Warrior now has temporary repulsiveness. I think by now I should have permanent repulsiveness. Alright, let's just get out of here. Let's go to the next stage. Level 8. Oh, 
Oh, now the lobbers. I really hate these guys. They'll just throw stuff at you from across the, the hedge. Oh yeah, you like that, huh? How you like that? Why can't I, why can't I take the keys? I must be full up on keys. I always seem to be running short on keys, so it's a good thing to have more than that more than you need. Oh, these are the stun pads. Oh, let me get the, oh, dang it! Stay away from me, Death. I challenge you to a game of Twister Death. <laughs> Back to you, cowardly lobbers. Yeah, you throw stuff at me, then you run away. I thought the I thought the the bomb was supposed to kill death, but it doesn't seem to work. It's not working on him. It's not doing anything. I thought I could kill him, but maybe he has to take a certain amount of life from me before he'll go away. Maybe that's how it works. Red Warrior now has reflective shots. Reflective shots? Oh yeah. If you can shoot him at a at an angle. That's a cool one. I like that power up. If I could only get over there to deliver these shots. Stop throwing stuff at me. You little twerp. Take that. Okay, now let's let's finish off death. Here, take whatever life you need for me to go away. Okay, good. I have sunk your battleship. That was from Bill and Ted's bogus journey, in case you don't know. Player shots stun others. Okay. I thought I couldn't get that key, huh? What are you guys doing over here? You having a party? Death, leave me alone. Stop following me. Jeez. I know you're lonely, but... Huh. The potion didn't work on all of them. I guess maybe... Maybe if I was the wizard, it would probably be a stronger potion. I think the, the warrior is just really weak using potions. The upside is I can destroy these, uh, these bones and houses quicker than the other characters can. So I'm just super strong. You know, kind of like in real life. Oh, it's the treasure room. Give me all your treasure. Yeah, the only way you can beat me is to gang up on me. You can't take me one on one. Oh, how am I supposed to get that? That's impossible. Unless I can, like, squeeze between... I don't know how I got that, but I just did. Got lucky. Red Warrior now has reflective shots. I like the reflective shots. Red Warrior shot a potion. That was the idea. I couldn't pick it up, so I thought I'd shoot it. Okay, what good are the reflective shots if there's nobody to shoot? Come on, where are you guys? Stop hiding out. Oh, that was poison. <laughs> Red Warrior shot the food. I shot the food. Nice slow down there. Actually, it is a, a pretty technologically marvelous game that it can have this many sprites on the screen at once, right? I think I'll just get out of here. Level 11. I like how all these stages look different too. They don't all they're not all the same. Red Warrior now has temporary transportability. I can't do anything. I can't even exit. Boom. Fine, I'll just destroy everything. There's gotta be some advantage to being able to teleport like this. Like there's a like something behind a wall that you just can't get to. These guys are really slow to come after me though. They're kind of afraid. As well they should be. Red warrior got a potion. Oh. 
Another thing is the voice is really good in this too. Sounds good, nice and clear. All right, I think I've cleared this whole stage out, but um, nothing, with, it, with this teleport thing, there's nothing else I can do. I can't get out of here. Can't even escape. Oh, there's another ghost. More ghosts. I can't shoot that food. There we go, now I can exit. All right, well I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break from Gauntlet 2. It's a really great game, a really fun game. Really good graphics and sound. It's it's really a lot of fun. I think it's better than the original Gauntlet game. The only thing I think it's lacking is a save game feature. It'd be nice if I hit pause or something and it like gave me a password or something. It doesn't seem to have that. But you know Gauntlet, if you were to play it, it just goes on forever and ever anyway, so. Anyway, I thank you all for watching. Take care, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, everybody. Red Warrior, your life force is running out. Red Warrior is about to die.